Welcome back, Tectonians. Today is September 15th, and it's been about a year and uh, maybe one month since the Apple Card got released. And I want to talk to you guys about my experience with the Apple Card throughout the year. Now, there is probably not a single bad thing I could tell you about having this card. Let me go through some of the details. What makes this, in my opinion, the best card out there in the market. So let's get started. I'm not sure how many reasons there are, but let's see how many reasons I could actually come up and tell you the benefits of owning an Apple card. Reason one, you could track all your purchases, where you purchased it, which location it was very easily and right away. It shows you the breakdown of all the purchases. Reason two, 1% back cash back on all transactions, 2% back using Apple Pay, and 3% using it with a lot of different retailers, including Apple. And Apple has been adding more and more retailers for 3% cash back throughout the years. Now, this is my daily driver. I have my debit card linked to this. So it just pays the amount I own this card every month at the end of the month. So I don't even have to worry about uh, paying that 12, 14 or 16% APR. Now, as a daily driver, I've been using this for every single transaction where Apple is accepted and Apple is accepted nearly everywhere. Now I try to use Apple Pay all the time and I accumulated over $1,200 of Apple cashback throughout the year. Now will I say that's a lot? It's a good chunk of money, yes. Is there cards that give you 2-3% back on all your purchases? There are. And there's one thing that I'm going to tell you right now that no other credit card company in the world does better than Apple. And that is reporting issues with the card. Now, instead of going to chase.com or getting on the phone with Chase or Wells Fargo or Bank of America and sitting there for 20 minutes entering all those details about your card and waiting for someone to pick up, you just text Apple. You go into your app, you click text and report an issue of the transaction and they reply to you right away no hassle no waiting you just get a message reply back and that's it now i probably experienced over five issues with the, my transactions a uh, few of them will be uh, here's an example scenario that happened to me i rented a hotel with my family it said it's three bedroom we arrived to the hotel it was two bedroom i tried reaching out the resort it's a little uh, house rental so the people they leave the key inside the lock and then you have the house for the weekend or one day two days and the people that i booked the house from house's description was wrong now the house said it has three bedroom but when we arrived it was two bedroom and there's more people than we could fit so it's kind of an uncomfortable situation some people had to crash on the couch and all this stuff so i called the rental company and they were not picking up and when i did they said no it's three bedroom and what we mean by three bedroom is what living room counts as a bedroom and it clearly says on the description that it's two be three bedroom plus the living room so i told them that we want our money back there's no way we could all stay here and they said sorry we can't help you so i reported the transaction to apple and within 10 minutes, they said that they're gonna file a dispute and I got a refund. Now, try to do that with any credit card company out there. It would take months and a hassle to do that. Now, a lot of people will say Apple card, trash, garbage, my dust, 3% cashback, whatever. I'll tell you this right now. From using this, this is the best credit card out there. I'm not even gonna argue with you. I have friends that argue with me all the time and then I see them, you know, checking into hotels and being charged the double the amount and they never get their money back because they have to call and sit there and do this, all this filings and paperwork. Apple makes it simple, reliable, great cash back. And here's the thing, you're gonna say, I'm sponsored by Apple, I got paid to say this by Apple. Me, sponsored by Apple? Come on guys, I'm not sponsored by Apple. I'm just telling you this because I make videos on my channel and I try to keep them as fair as possible 
And I just want you guys to know that if you're an owner of Apple device and you have an Apple ecosystem, this is the card for you. Check them out. Check the Goldman Sachs Apple card and let me know your thoughts. And if you are the owner of an Apple card and you've been using it, give me a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you guys for watching. Click that notification bell, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.